Hello friends, Happy New Year to you. First of all, I would like to uh, uh, tell you all the people that Happy New Year and stay happy, stay safe. And this is a new video which I am doing on the request of one of my client, uh, Ms. Dr. Sethi, who actually uh, lives in UAE. However, uh, his original uh, home is in Karnataka. He watched my YouTube video and contacted with me. And then he came back to India to send his uh, two sets to me. And uh, once I received uh, those two sets, those are Philips 633. Mm -hmm. and another is uh, Philips 242 turntable. I do have uh, the videos in YouTube for the restoration mm -hmm. of 633 and 242 both. But on his request, I am doing this video. Uh, restoration uh, process of the 242 uh, which is uh, not comes with the amplifier but it's a separate unit and uh, I am just uh, going to do this video on his request and on his honor so let's uh, go to the main part and uh, let's see the set how it looks like and what's the condition now of that set this is the set which has come to me from Dr. Seti. As you all know, this is a Philips 242 electronic turntable. It's a belt drive turntable. During the transportation, you can see that uh, this one actually broken. I have fixed it with another, uh, this backlight type uh, plastic. Uh, this is, I uh, just want to show you what is this. This is actually get fixed in here. During the transportation, this arm actually completely broken. This one also got broken. I have fixed it also. So now I have to put that particular lock here so that it floats freely here. One leg, this one actually broken while it comes to me. So I have fixed it uh, somehow and I am putting this uh, lock here so that it should work like it should have been. This is a platter, this is on off switch, it's a speed selector switch as you all know. It's a cartridge inserted here, it's a sure cartridge, I can see it. You can also see the start and stop button here. And there is a lever which actually drops this arm on the LP or the record. When I checked it, I can see that it is not moving so it is tucked it is not working as it should be it should go this side and this side but it is stuck it is not moving so the problem lies here with this switch that means it cannot be used for putting this arm on the LP I have to do manually I cannot use this one right now as I told you earlier when it came to me I got there are some parts which got damaged actually this was broken when I found it during the transportation now I have fixed it and restored it this is the inside of this set uh, this is a pulley a belt should be uh, there uh, should be attached with this pulley and uh, with this one this will be drives by the motor and the motor will be drives with a governing circuit a governor unit which need to be checked now once i uh, found it i checked that uh, the belts are there okay but this was uh, not moving and uh, that means the motor is not working so this is not moving and that means the platter will also not move so in uh, other words i can say that this set is a completely dead there is a, a no reason to give uh, this one the power because the motor is not working so i have to fix all these one by one whatever the problem comes i don't even know about the auto stop mechanism once it will work up to some extent then i will be able to know about the auto stop mechanism so the hydraulic lifter is not also working motor is not moving i do not know about this uh, governor unit so all these need to be checked one by one. This is the component side of 242. As you can see, uh, this is the governor unit. This circuit actually drives the motor. The motor 
is actually assembled inside this casing this is a transformer and you can see there is an on off switch with this governor unit the two stop and start switch is also attached and uh, you can see this is the lever which i am talking about earlier not working this is attached with a hydraulic system which actually lifts the arm to uh, just to detach from the record lp and also it helps to put the arm on lp this is also not working so i need to check all these one by one and sort it out and i have to restore it as it should be so right now as you can see this is uh, complete component section of this set this is the motor assembly unit as you can see i have opened this casing now what i found that uh, this uh, motor this is the motor and this is the pulley a belt is fixed with this motor unit which attached with this outer side of the pulley it rotates it gives power this pulley to rotate this pulley rotates and the outer part of this pulley is uh, goes the outside or the upper uh, front part of this chassis and with that another belt is attached which uh, actually moves the big black color dial and uh, the platter is actually installed upon it so when i first uh, i am checking i saw that this is very heavy it is not moving uh, very easily so first of all what i have to do i have to make it a uh, bit loose otherwise uh, the motor will uh, not work as it should have been so after the repairing job completed as you can see now it's moving better than before i can see can i can just move it with my one finger earlier i have to use all the five fingers to move it now you can see it is moving a lot better so once the power will be applied to it it will be rotating fine i have installed the original belt with it this circuit actually drives this motor with variable speed and also allows the auto stop mechanism uh, with a particular technology which at that point of time philips claimed that they are the master of doing this now to check whether the issue is with this governor unit or not as i have fixed this uh, rubber belt here so i will now uh, power on this set so let me power it on and check i have powered it on as you can see that the light is glowing there there are two switch this one is the start switch and this one is the stop switch so i will push this one now i am pushing this one but nothing is happening the motor is not actually moving so that means this governor unit is not giving sufficient power to this motor so that it could run after checking all the components one by one as you can see that i have already replaced this capacitor this is the electrolytic one this capacitor this is also electrolytic one and this capacitor this is also electrolytic one you can see this one this one i checked after opening from this circuit and measured this is working perfectly well so i have not changed this one other than this when i was in testing of uh, all the components i found that this this transistor uh, is actually damaged so i have replaced this one at the same time as you know that this works with the help of this transistor now this uh, originally philips used uh, for this section ac188 and this one is ac187 a germanium pair transistor however later due to the unavailability of uh, these sorts of transistor philips switched to some silicon transistor maybe and that is why uh, this has been changed now i can see i cannot show it to you right now but i can see that uh, this is a silicon transistor uh, which has been used in uh, in this case uh, where it should be one ac188 bc328 what i can see i cannot show it to you 
but it is a BC328. Now there are two this type of transistor, this one and this one. And I found that both of these transistors are actually open. So I had to replace this with new one. And uh, now this in this section there is uh, no uh, much more faulty uh, components. Now it's time to uh, check whether the circuit is working perfectly all right or not. So for that I first of all I will power it on. So I am giving power to it. As you can see that the light is glowing on. Now I am just giving the pulse. You can see the motor is moving. Now I am putting it off. You can see that it gone off. What I am doing with this jack is actually a, the switch which does this. Giving once the pulse to start this unit and again giving pulse to stop this unit. See once again. I am putting this, connecting this with this point and see that the motor will revolve. You can see the motor is revolving. Now again, it's time to stop it. So the governor unit is working well. Now it's time to check with the original switch. I'm giving power to it. And now I'm pressing the switch but as you can see the motor is not moving that means this switch mechanism is not working perfectly so I have to check this switch mechanism and rectify it now these switches are working fine what actually happened I am telling you that uh, inside this switch there is a still a metal strap which actually connects with that section uh, where I was earlier touching with my prop there uh, is a spring what happens when I push this switch inside this metal strap actually touches that spring and that spring is actually connected with that point where I was touching with the prop so what actually happened I found that uh, the spring was completely uh, damaged in the sense that it was rusty, completely rusty. So the connection was not uh, perfectly uh, going uh, with this particular switch and that spring. And that was the reason it was not working. So I have fixed it and now the switches are working. I am showing you how the switches are working now. Now let's see. Yes, it's moving now. The speed is here. I have chosen 45. Now let's put it to 33. As you can see, the speed becomes less. Mm -hmm. Now one thing I have to check whether the auto stop mechanism is working fine or not. This can't be checked without putting a LP or 45 RPM record. So my next testing is to check the auto stop. Now to test the auto stop mechanism, I put a 45 RPM record on it and started playing it. Now I will put this, this arm manually. Whether the platter stops automatically or not this need to be checked the pin is going towards the end of this record no the auto stop mechanism is not working fine so that need to be restored so that when the arm comes at the end of the record 
the platter should stop. The meter reading of the voltage, the voltage should be around 2.6 volt. It is showing actually 2.064 volt. So this is why the auto stop is not working perfectly. It should be approximately 2.6 volt. So I have to check it and make it correct. Earlier while we tested we found that the motor is moving, the platter is moving all right, no problem, but the problem is with auto stop. Now I found there are some issues uh, with the uh, section of the circuit that I have corrected, but still the issue not resolved. Then I actually uh, tried to open the arm uh, section. As you can see, uh, this is the inside section of the arm. And I would like to show you that this is called LDR or photo resistor. This is a type of resistance which actually changes its value with uh, the light. The more light comes uh, in this photo resistor, its resistance goes down and the less light comes, it, the resistance goes high. And this actually controls the auto stop mechanism system in this type of 242 sets. Now I found that uh, this one is not working, this one is uh, gone. So I had to replace this one, this is the original Philips uh, photo resistor. Now when I try to look at this casing, you will see that I have put some tape upon it. The reason behind that, you can see there is a little small area where you can see the inside this is the area from through the light goes inside the photo resistor now the other section should be covered with a carbon coating which is uh, here but unfortunately in some areas due to the uh, years and age of this set the carbon coating actually removed in some areas so what is happening actually when the this particular Mm, uh, thing is installed here and the light obstructing material is coming in between the light and this particular section there are some other holes or from where the light is going inside so that is why when it is playing the record the auto stop mechanism is not working I have to put a carbon coating here so that there should be no area from where the light comes inside in only the area which is marked as you can see uh, marked as the the point from where the light should come except that all the areas need to be recarbon so this is uh, one part i would like to tell you and at the same time as because the, this particular set has come to me via courier so as you know earlier that the arm section was damaged up to some extent so the alignment also uh, gone uh, up to some extent so i have to realign this particular section so that the auto stop works so it's a long process i am just trying to uh, do it one by one i have already used uh, the carbon ink inside this part but still for more protection I put some sorts of tape here so that no extra light goes through any holes other than the specified hole from where it should go inside the photo resistor or the LDR as because it has come to me from a long way uh, from Karnataka so due to the jerking there are some mechanical parts also dislocated or some are disaligned I have also aligned this section this section actually is very important if you do anything with with this section it will actually change the calibration of the arm and it, the auto stop will uh, not work as it should be if 
you use any sort of screwdriver to change uh, this particular unit uh, it will actually destroy the auto stop system so i should not allow that once it will go through transportation it should move anymore so i will do the needful to lock it and this is how now you can see i have also replaced this uh, particular section as you can see this word this was not working so i have replaced this particular section with a new one uh, this was actually lifting the arm and putting the arm uh, on the record hydraulically this is a, a plug switch which is actually we have to push and pull from the front side as you can see i have put some rubber through the hot gun here so that it should not move anymore from its position during the transportation or any movement of this particular chassis the issue i found uh, in this set while i was checking the cartridge for the reproduction i found that one channel is okay another channel is not working so initially i thought that maybe the this is a cartridge issue or maybe the pin issue so i tried to check it uh, intensely and uh, while i am checking at the cartridge i saw uh, something else i don't know whether i can show it to you or not but uh, if you see that uh, the connection is disconnected from this lead so that means one channel will not work you can see this is connected but this wire this blue wire you can see this blue wire should be connected with this lead this is uh, not connected here and that is the reason this one channel is working another is not so i need to connect this wire with this lead and uh, as you know that it cannot be done here i need to plus first of all open this cap from the cartridge and then i have to solder it then i have to put it once again so this is another issue that i need to resolve right now so that the both the channels work in a proper manner so that is the reason i had to open this full arm so that i should not open the cartridge from its head shell but i can do the needful for repairing this so let's do that first and then we'll check if you see the problem is here also you can see that this is the red wire this is the white wire and the connection is coming from this red wire and this white wire this is one is the right channel another is left channel and this is the ground so what I, we have seen in the cartridge section connection this, that this white wire is connected to the ground of the cartridge and the red wire with one lead and the one of the blue wire is actually disconnected from one lead so the connection is also wrong this connection is not also in a correct manner what it should have been it should have been this right will be connected with the white one channel of the cartridge this white should be connected with the another channel of the cartridge and the rest of the wire should be connected with the ground of the cartridge or the head shell but that is not happening here so i need to actually uh, completely uh, restore this section i mean to say the connection of the wires with the cartridge so that both the channels live connected with this white and red and the rest of the connections should be connected with the ground so this is now the look of the inside of this turntable after the completion of the restoration i have changed the belt inside this motor assembly i have done the replacement of the faulty parts of this section this is the power supply and the voltage regulation unit and as you can see that i have uh, corrected the cartridge connections from here and also from uh, the point where it touches the cartridge i cannot show it right now this bulb was also faulty i have replaced it with a new one now it's time to uh, test it finally how it works and how it's perform so this is the lp that i have put over this turntable i have fixed the connection of the audio uh, with my sonodyne deck as you can see 
this is actually my one this is also 242 this is the deck through which it will be playing now it's time to check for the final performance of this set i am putting this arm near to the end so that i could check both the sound and the auto stop function so i am starting now so let's check As you can see, it's completely works fine as it should have been. The sound quality is excellent and the auto stop mechanism is also working and the platter is also moving. So all is well, ends well. So here is the end of this video and it's a nice experience to service and restore this set and I will send this set now to my client Dr. Sethi. So thank you for watching my video. If you find it good, please do subscribe and press the like button. Take care.